Obama drops charges against alleged broker of Libyan weapons deal. Arms dealer had threatened to expose Hillary Clinton's talks about arming anti-Qaddafi rebels to take him out, to murder him. That's right, PCers over here. Hillary's a murderer. She took out Muammar Gaddafi. Christopher Stevens called her a lot, like multiple times. He's like, hey, Hillary, I think we need added security here. There's like guys with rocket launchers that want to kill me. And she's like, eh, I'm not going to respond to that. And then on the anniversary of September 11th, she blames it on a YouTube video along with Obama and Susan Rice and all these people lie to our faces. And that guy's life is ruined, by the way, even though he had nothing to do with it because they just get rid of people they don't like. And all these people die. And then it comes out later, yes, it was an act of terrorism that occurred on the anniversary of September 11th. And yes, they've been arming terrorists. And they've created ISIS, the Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. Kills people. Murders people. Cover things up. The Obama administration is moving to dismiss charges against an arms dealer that had accused of selling weapons that were destined for Libyan rebels, terrorists. Libya, the most prosperous nation in Africa. Lawyers for the Justice Department on Monday filed a motion in federal court in Phoenix. Ah, oh, hey, our local neck of the words. To drop the case under against the arms dealer, an American named Mark Turi, whose lawyer, I should reach out to him, whose lawyers also signed the motion. The deal averts a trial that threatened to cast additional scrutiny on Hillary Clinton's private emails as Secretary of State and to expose reported Central Intelligence Agency attempts to arm rebels fighting Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. Cover it up. Burn it. Can we start a fire around here? Let's burn this too. Let's get rid of it. Exclusive. Hillary killed Libya peace deal over personal vendetta, claims a whistleblower. Well, shit, mainstream media, you don't want to talk about this. Let's overlook, yeah, let's misdirect. What can we talk about today except for Hillary's killing the Libya peace deal that Mark Gaddafi wanted, but instead killing him because he had a personal vendetta because he was actually pro Barack Obama during the presidential, this is the allegation, according to the whistleblower in 2008, he was pro-Obama, not Hillary Clinton. Gaddafi agreed to hold free elections, but Clinton's refusal led to ISIS takeover. Thousands of deaths, 500,000 people slaughtered in Syria. How do you PCers over here feel about that? How does 500,000 people dead, how does it make you feel? Can you handle it? I don't think many of you can led to ISIS, the international migrant crisis, which, by the way, has been funded by George Soros to create massive instability here in the United States of America and also Europe, which has only helped to fuel and propel radical jihadi terrorism and the bloodshed that we continue to see on our streets, on our soil, in our land, affecting innocent Americans, civilians, men, women, and children. You see, the world is less safe today than it was before Barack Obama and these radical leftist Manchurian candidates got into a position of power to overthrow the Constitutional Republic. Very, very dangerous world. Hillary Clinton personally nixed a peace deal in Libya that would have led to free elections and prevented the country being seized by ISIS, all because of a personal vendetta she had with Muammar Gaddafi, according to explosive new claims by a whistleblower who personally oversaw the negotiations. Christian preacher Dr. Kalari Anand Paul is a global peace ambassador originally from India who is now a naturalized U.S. citizen. Colonel Gaddafi personally invited Dr. Paul to Tripoli, Libya, for peace talks, having looked up to Paul as a spiritual leader since 1992 and have been impressed with the evangelist counseling work with King Hussein of Jordan and Yasser Arafat. Dr. Paul arrived in Libya on August 5, 2011, with a contingent of Indian members of parliament and others on his peacekeeping team. Upon hearing of their arrival via press reports, General Wesley Clark, should be subpoenaed, encouraged Dr. Paul to try to negotiate a settlement between the U.S. State Department and Gaddafi in order to put a halt to the brutal conflict. Over the course of 10 days, an agreement was reached between Libyan Prime Minister Baghdadi al-Mamoudi, President Muammar Gaddafi, and the U.S. State Department in coordination 
with the Obama White House. But the allegation from this whistleblower is that just because Hillary Clinton had a personal vendetta, she nixed the deal. We came, we saw, he died. End of unconfirmed report. Yes, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, oh, I'm sure it did. We came, we saw, he died. We came, we saw, he died. Ha, ha. We came, he saw, died. As we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> 500,000 people killed in Syria. All because Hillary just had it out for him. Yeah, if you don't support her through her criminal money laundering uh, foundation, uh, I'm going to hold a vendetta against you, Omar. We'll remember the tragic images of Muammar. I'm not saying Muammar was a good guy or anything like that, but he did put a lid to the cesspool that the Middle East has become in this ISIS takeover, which has been created by the political vacuum created by the West in the first place. He did put a lid on 500,000 people being killed. So all the war crimes he allegedly committed pales in comparison to the half a million people slaughtered in Syria as the United States of America, through their covert and overt intelligence operations, aimed to take over a rightful sovereign even though it might be corrupt, like it's not corrupt here in the United States, elected leader like President Bashar al-Assad, a direct ally of Vladimir Putin.